Hey folks, John Sheets here with Continental Kennels. Uh, today we're going to be out in the front yard working with Juno uh, and we're going to be starting the casting uh, drills with Juno. Last week we uh, worked on establishing our back pile, uh, ran it out to about 70, 80 yards or so um, just to kind of ingrain in her where that back pile is. Um, for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of training we're going to move up uh, to about 30 yards or so. Um, and what I'm going to be doing in this drill is send her on back to the back pile from my side. As she's coming back, I'm going to stop her uh, where our, our pitcher's mound will eventually be once we start running baseball. I'll take that bumper from her. I'll stand off to one side or the other depending on which back I'm going to give her. I'll throw the bumper back to the back pile and then give her the back to, to turn and go pick it up. As she's going to pick it up, I'm going to walk back to where we started from, receive her there, take the bumper from her, um, and then uh, send her again on back from my side, let her go pick it up, and as she's coming back, we'll stop her. Um, now what you're going to see in the video, uh, when I stop her and take that bumper and, and go to throw it, I'm going to walk pretty far offline uh, to, to draw her attention to that direction, and then throw it so that way she can kind of watch it, mark it, and see where it goes. And then as I'm giving her the back, I'm going to have my hand way out to the side. I'm going to be standing off to the side, and I'm going to give her that big back. And what I'm trying to do is, is draw her attention so, so she's already turning a little bit, you know, watching me walk to the side, and then she can easily identify that my hand is off to that side. Just to teach her to, hey, I need to, you know, when, when he gives me this, hand I need to turn this way when he gives me this hand I need to turn this way and that's really what we're trying to teach with this now over time you know once she learns which back is back our hands will come back more to kind of that neutral position and our, our backs will be more of the, the straight up traditional backs but for this like I said we're, we're trying to teach so let's simplify everything make it as easy as we can for her make sure she learns and understands the concept and then we'll work on refining that skill so let me go grab Juno and we'll get this ran for you. All right, folks, so we got Juno out here. As you can see, Juno's got her pretty pink e-collar on. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out to you, we're not gonna be making any kind of e-collar corrections if she makes, uh, you know, if she turns the wrong direction on this drill. Uh, you know, we're gonna be hitting the whistle, uh, give her a no here or whatever we need to do to get her to stop. Uh, bring her back to the pitcher's mound and then we're gonna do the, do the same thing again, kind of the exaggerated step off to the side and then the, the exaggerated back, um, whatever we need to do to kind of get her attention drawn to whichever side we want her to turn. Um, you know, since we're teaching, since we're learning, we don't wanna be using a bunch of e-collar pressure on her at this point. Um, she, she really doesn't understand what we're doing, so we certainly don't wanna punish her for, for not understanding something at this point. Um, you know, we will use the e-collar if, if an obedience issue comes up, something that she already knows and, and truly learn, has learned and understands what she's supposed to be doing, she's just not doing it. You know, then we'll be using the e-collar. But on this drill part of it where we're turning left and right, we're not gonna be using any e-collar pressure. All right, let's get this rain and see what it does. Heel. Good girl. Sit. Good Back. pretty good with that. She came back. Here. 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 Heel. Heel. 
here. Deal. Okay. Back. That wasn't the best throw on my part, but she understood what I was looking for. Come on, here. Here. So as you saw, Juno did a pretty good job with this drill. Um, you know, one thing I hope you guys noticed that as she was coming back and I sat her, took the bumper from her, threw it back. Um, I walked back and got myself set where I wanted to be to, to cast her from. And you know, most of the time she was still looking at me. Sometimes she was still looking back over her shoulder at the bumper. It didn't matter. Every time I hit the sit whistle before I gave her that cast. And I feel like that's pretty important down the road when you start actually running blinds and you got to stop them to handle, you hit that sit whistle. It gets them used to turning, spinning, and sitting and looking for you for directions. Um, you know, kind of the same thing here. Even though she's already looking at me, I hit the sit whistle just to make sure I've drawn her attention to me. If she's looking over her shoulder, hey, you hit that sit whistle, it gets her to turn and focus back on me. Um, so every time I always hit the sit whistle before I give that cast. All right, come on. 